We all know the old adage, actions speak louder than words. However, not many of us understand what Jesus' more mysterious actions were trying to say. For example, why at a wedding in Cana does Jesus choose to turn water into wine? Why does Jesus only heal certain types of diseases? Why, when Jesus feeds 5,000 people, are there 12 baskets left over, but when he feeds 4,000 people, there's only seven? Ever wonder why when Jesus casts demons into a herd of pigs, they run down a hill and drown themselves in the Sea of Galilee? We are going to answer each one of these questions and more. We are going to look past his sayings and ask tough questions about his doings. Reenacting the Way will introduce you to brand new biblical and historical research that's never been shared before. This background information will bring Jesus' actions to life. In the end, we will find that Jesus' nearly inexplicable actions were making culturally relevant statements to his contemporaries. When we read the Bible, we must remember that it is retelling stories from a different time and place. If Jesus would have proclaimed that the kingdom of God is like Facebook, it will begin with a few college-age guys and then turn into a global online network, no one in first century Israel would have understood what he was talking about. They had no framework for things like Facebook, or college, or even global online networks. That's why Jesus had to compare the kingdom of God to a mustard seed that grew into a huge tree. The people in first century Israel could actually figure out what he meant. It's often the same way that it works with us. We read Jesus' words and hear what he did, but we have no way to figure out what he meant. The reason is there is a huge time and culture gap between us and him. Jesus' words and his actions had specific cultural references that his first audience understood. But we are left in the dark. We miss the point because we're from a different time and place. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can reenact the purposes of Jesus' actions in culturally profound ways today. The book provides a string of contemporary examples and a pattern to follow to do just that. I've been studying for 10 years in Israel and Turkey, Greece and Egypt to figure this out. Now I want to share with you the research and relevance of Jesus' most mysterious actions. You see, the terrain that Jesus navigated is not our terrain. We have to take the trajectories of his life and adapt them to our situation. If you'll grab the book and figure out how to follow him with a group of supportive friends, you might just push beyond religiosity to the discerning creation of a new kind of culture that Jesus showed us how to make. You might just reenact the way of Jesus.